What's cracking egg heads? This is Ashley Bonner, founder of the indie educational video game studio Electric Egghead. I'm participating in Thomas Brush's 12 month challenge and I'm on the third month on day three. Uh, you can also go to the hashtag 12 months game studio or the discord link which are both shown uh, in the, this image and in the description below. So move over okay so for the last two days I've been troubleshooting my Unreal Engine it kept crashing and crashing and crashing so I did a lot of troubleshooting I went to the Unreal Engine's answer hub Google uh, a little bit of stack overflow a little bit and uh, the forums the biggest issue I had recently was how to uninstall Unreal Engine so what I had done the previous days was um, I uninstalled the Epic Games Launcher just to find out the next day that the actual way to uninstall Unreal Engine is to open your Epic Games Launcher and navigate to the Unreal Engine link and then uninstall or repair your Unreal Engine application. And uh, this that information is as of December 2019. So, um, after having repaired my Unreal Engine, which was a, a bit of a, it took a while for it to uh, like repair itself and then reinstall. Uh, that so that happened, and now I am gonna continue Michael Walbeck Walbeck, um, oh, sorry, Mark Walbeck's YouTube tutorial where uh, I'm making an evil cube come at me and chase me and all that stuff. So. Uh, just to let you know, his YouTube channel is called Dev Slopes. Now it's a 26 minute video and I am at 13 minutes. So I'm hoping to finish it during this um, two hour window. Because uh, if you haven't been to this uh, channel before, Thomas Brush is uh, asked you to do two to three hours every day to make your game studio for a year. So I am uh, recording my two hour sessions every day and posting them to YouTube uh, unless there's an emergency or I um, well I'll be doing that just you know every day okay so let's continue alright so so far I have made I've uh, done the basic AI of my uh, cube and but it doesn't actually do anything yet so I'm gonna continue by finishing the nav mesh bounds volume um, which I got from the left hand side in volumes. Okay, so I'm going to resize my nav mesh bounds volume uh, to match the uh, size of the, of the checkered arena. Now before uh, my Unreal Engine was crashing and I was uh, getting a D3D util, oh sorry, D3D11 util.cpp error, so there was something wrong with my graphics card, uh, but hopefully that was repaired. Okay, so Let's go ahead and continue this, the tutorial. Um, nav mesh bounds volume. I'm going to pick that and then I'm going to uh, change these arrows into um, transform cubes. And transform means like resize, scale, um, and rotate. So I'm going to push R and, and then resize it. Okay, so. And behind my face it says building navigation 2. That's that blinking black rectangle. Okay, so resize to fit my arena. Scroll uh, with my mouse wheel it to go zoom in and zoom out. Hold down the um, left mouse button to move around like this. Okay, so let's just move it around. Okay, so now that we have that done, let me push the... Uh, w button and so it'll go back to the, my regular navigation gizmo and let me just turn the screen a bit okay so I'm gonna push W and move my no, sorry wrong thing that action helps you make you scroll in I'm gonna move my uh, nav mesh bounds to match my um, arena uh, so it like okay, kind of you know perimeters it creates a perimeter around it but first, let me save. Okay, Control S and save. All right, so, all right, looking good so far. 
uh, build navigation. Okay, so the black rectangle is actually a countdown. Okay, so let me just, I'm going to part it, put it in this corner, and then I'm going to size it. Let's push R again, and let's resize it uh, this way. That's a little too big, I know, but that's okay. Actually, let me just do that, and then I'm going to pull the side out. Okay, and then push um, W. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate around. Oh, push the wrong button. Rotate, and not that way. Oh, is that Alt R? Yep. So Alt and uh, hold your left mouse button, and uh, your. If you hold Alt and um, hold your left mouse button, you'll get you'll be able to rotate like this, uh, you know, up and down, and all 360 degrees. Okay. So let me make this actually fit. Oops. Uh, left mouse button, and um, push R again. Pull this side in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pull one side in. I guess I pull both sides in. All right, then I want to click the other one. Uh, let's see, I'm getting a freeze right now. So let me give that a second to catch up. Okay, the mouse is moving. And let's see. Okay, let's give that a sec. Okay, okay, it crashed. All right, so we have a crash again. Um. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm going to just wait until the uh, crash reporter comes up and try to see what's going on now. Yes, the repair didn't work. Okay, so here we go. So here's my Unreal Engine 4 crash reporter. And I've seen that a couple times so far. So the repair was not successful. So I'm going to see what the new error message is and um, fix it to uh, try and get this to work okay let's see what we have all right so I have the same error message and the repair through on the the launcher didn't actually fix it so let me go back to the launcher and see okay let me see first let me leave a message um, I was moving and sorry and resizing my nav Mesh, bounds, volume, and uh, Unreal crashed. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. All right, so, okay, I still haven't fixed it yet. I thought I, I was pretty sure that I, it was fixed, but it's not. So let me just grab all this. I'm gonna have to go back to Google and do more repairing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> and send, uh, okay. Open up Notepad, paste all that here so I can see it better. And let's see, let me go back to there and see what else I can, I can pull up while I'm looking. Um, let's see what else I can pull up. Let's see, close that sending. Alright, I don't see anything else I'm going to send and close. Okay. So, I have a fatal error. Uh, same one I've been getting for the last two days, so I'm gonna just save this message for uh, more searching later and see what's going on. Save it to my okay, okay, I already have it for that day, so let me just save it for today. Unreal crashing yeah, message, all right, uh, let's just put it up. Okay, so let's see. All right, okay. I really gotta figure out what is. I really gotta figure out what this is. All right, so let me just open up the Epic Games launcher, which is right there, actually, on my desktop, and see what happens when I go to try and um repair it. See now, I'm not wanting to repair it. I'm gonna. I'm wanting to just. Uh, uninstall it okay so let me see if that's an option in the epic games launcher and maybe we can get this working and I can finish this tutorial I really can't wait to uh, have the cubes come after me <laughs> all right so as you know I drink tea um, I like to drink them especially when I'm troubleshooting or debugging but during other times as well so while I'm waiting for epic games launcher to um, come up, 
I will uh, let's see. Oops, here we go. I will show you my tea. So I have it in this lovely Christmas mug, merry and bright with this cute little deer. It's just some regular orange pico and with the, you know some sugar and it's really good. So I'm gonna drink a bit while I'm waiting for this. and I'll try it again. Okay, there we go. Oh, and another resource. Um, I am editing my videos with HitFilm Express. I'm doing a quick edit, but you can do a lot of stuff with this free software. Um, so try it if you have YouTube videos that you want to uh, upload. You can... Um, you can do so many things. You can add transitions, uh, music, clips. You know, you know, fade things in, make it look really professional with this, and all kinds of things. It's, it's pretty easy to use. I did watch a little tutorial online just to give me, you know, a little um, help with it. And it was a 35 minute video and I just sped it up to like, you know, 2x and just watched it in like, in, you know, 15 minutes, 60 minutes or whatever. So it really helped me out a lot. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Just so you can, if you want to make YouTube videos or, you know, just any other kind of videos for your game development or animation, you can do that using HitFilm Express to edit it and, you know, link them together and all those things, trim your videos and stuff like that. And so, yes. So let's see about Epic Games Launcher. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, did I even push the button? Yeah, I did. I launched the Epic Games Launcher. <laughs> Must have more tea. Merry and bright. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Just trying to be patient, a patient human being. What do you love, Bobby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Go back. Mm. Seven new friends requests. Wow. I'm getting popular. I've only got like 20 friends on Facebook. <laughs> I really only friend people who that I actually know. So yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. Here we are. Now, let me go to 4.23 released. Yeah, because I was wondering why my version was so old. I knew that the 4.23 had been released, and I was just like, what? I do not know why the, my Unreal Engine version is so old. Okay, so I'm thinking... Okay. Um, yeah, maybe that's why or something. Cause this, cause I use Unreal Engine 4.23 at the library uh, when I go there to use their computers. So yeah, I'm not sure why I'm I'm. Wow, 4.24 is coming out December 5th at two. No, no, no. Highlights and landscape tools. 4.24 version is coming out soon. Oh, I'm sorry, from Zephyr Focus. Unreal Engine, okay. Let's see if we can fix mine. Though I've already done this. Um, I, I'm just gonna try and re download it and maybe it'll like kick out this version. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. <laughs> okay. Let's see. See what's going on in the oh 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 sorry I'm sorry I'm already in the Unreal version engine version <laughs> my bad um I clearly didn't see anything happen and didn't it it's clearly highlighted 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, wait, okay, let me, hmm. Why is it even launching this version? Okay, let me just look online real quick. Okay. Um I am gonna going to look up why it's launching this older version of Unreal Engine. I mean Hmm. Maybe the number's just wrong. I don't know. Have you have has it, have any of you ever seen this where there's a you know where there's a newer version but it keeps it's like saying that it's launching this older version. Okay, so now we're looking at um not why is my poop green? Why does Unreal Engine show an older version? on the Epic Games launch. Okay, here we go. So, I'm, I'm curious why it's showing that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go back. Uh, let's see. Hmm. How to update it. Huh. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole or anything, but I'm kind of curious how this works. Hmm. Let's look at games. Okay. Hmm. Point twelve point five. I forgot what it was already. Four point twelve point five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why is it in the launcher? Hmm. And that's two thousand sixteen, of course. Oh, hmm. Why is it in the launcher right now? I literally just reinstalled Epic Games Launcher yesterday, so I'm con. Used. Why it's giving me this old version of Unreal Engine, not the newer version. Okay. Anyway, so let me go to Unreal Engine. Click that right there. Go to the main screen. Uh, actually, go right here. And left-click that, and I see what we're dealing with here. I'm. I have this look around. Okay. So this may be a whole video of just troubleshooting why things are not working. Um, how can I, I can fix it? So, let me just click here and see maybe if they have a link. I'm just gonna try downloading the newest version of um, Unreal Engine and get this working so I can finish the tutorial. You can actually watch me die trying to fight the evil cubes. And um, I will see what's going on. Let's see, redirecting. Hmm. Oh wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> one day, one day, I will be able to do that. Alright, I don't think this is what I'm looking for at all. Okay, so let me just close this and go to UnrealEngine.com, and I'm just gonna try and reinstall. I'm gonna try and un. I'm trying to gonna try and install. The newer version, and maybe that'll kick the older the older version out. I'm not even sure how to and uh, up, up, upgrade it. 
So, yeah, that's just weird. I don't know why this older version would be in the epic launch -er. Unless it's like, you know, a typo or something. Okay. So, we go here. Uh. <laughs> okay, Egghead, so, I have, um, been working on, on, on Epic Games, and as, uh, it just says launch, so I'm trying to figure out how to download the newest version of Unreal Engine, which is, uh, 4.23. So I am um, looking up the error messages or either figuring, trying to figure out how to um, download it. So I think I'm going to stop looking up the error message and just download the newest version. And that might kick out this older version that, got, that possibly um, was downloaded. But bef So, okay, wait, let me just slow down a little bit. Uh, let me open up Unreal Engine real quick and and uh, see which version I have. Get some detox tea now. Okay, so while that's opening up, let me just show you the resources that I have. I'm going to um, do 30 minutes because it's the morning and I'm, then I'm going to go to work. Um, I need to do a bit of editing on some other videos, so I'm just going to show you these resources while Unreal Engine is opening and I'll check the version of it. Okay, so <clears throat> first I have for you... How to make French toast. Okay. <laughs> Alright. First uh, resource I have for you is... Um, oops, sorry about that. Is... C. Petri's Texture Generator Online. That's at C. P. E. T. R. Y. Dot GitHub. Dot I. O. Slash Texture Generator. Hyphen. Online. And so what this does is you can create new textures right online in your browser. So I can do just a quick little demo. Now I haven't used this resource but um, if you want to make different textures you can definitely go here and do that. So they have like, uh, let's see what is this, uh, you know like bricks and sky, clouds, things like that. Um, it's different bricks and gradients and all these things where you can just you can quickly make some patterns for your games uh, some uh, textures for your games or your animations and um, you can change the size and change how the pattern looks add some grout things like that uh, you can also pick a different size a small medium large possibly extra large let me see and just get different sizes you can also choose what format you want it in and this was created by Christian Petri uh, from Germany. So, second resource is Pixelogic. Now, this is a, uh, a really great uh, 3D modeling software, and um, it's really easy to use, and um, it's great for, if you're a beginner. Now, um, it makes it uh, really easy to make different sculpts, uh, different uh, models and things like that. So, um, you might want to go here. Let me see if it, how much it costs. 
or is it like free to use free download okay it has a free download but um, I'm not entirely sure if it's actually free to use so let me just look around a bit Started. Okay, so uh, unclear if it's actually free to use, but it may be. So, but you may want to check it out and uh, just see what you can create with using uh, Pixelogic's Sculptress. All right, and the third resource is Audacity. Now, this is what I actually do use. <clears throat> um, it is a uh, audio software where you can record and edit edit your uh, recordings or your or your, your different sounds you can, you can also create sounds and uh, it's, it's free to use it's really amazing and pretty easy to use there are tutorials online if you need those or there's like a help section uh, you can also um, you can just uh, change the the, the, uh, the volume you can change the, the pitch of the sound things like that and it is audacity I know is used in games by um, by an indie game developer named Zephio. And I'll just show you some of her work right now. Have some more tea while I'm waiting for that. Okay, so I know that Zephio Now she met, she's an, an amazing uh, game developer. I think she's 19 now, maybe 20 or so. But she's, so she's like this amazing artist and game developer. She creates a lot of educational content. And um, her first game was called Suppressed. And she uses Unity and C Sharp to make these games. She has time lapse videos on YouTube. And uh, she releases new games, like, I believe every couple of months. She, she usually does visual. Uh, novel games and she's an amazing artist and developer so let me just go to her let's see ah she's 20 now okay let's see let's go to her her itch.io itch.io no I don't actually even know okay anyway I'm uh, planning to just uh, shout out some indie game developers um, starting at this video now. So I'll be just shouting out one in indie game developer or one indie game, um, you know, studio uh, during every game. Uh, every sorry, every video. <laughs> All right. So her name is Angela He, and she's known as Zephio. Or Zephio. I've never actually heard her say it, but oh well. Z e p h y o. Okay, so give that a moment. Okay, so as I said, she makes beautiful, uh, beautiful art, um, and she has a lot of games available. Uh, her newest one that I've played is Missed Messages. It's a really great game. Um, it's about you like trying to save your roommate who's going through a hard time and it's like based on real life of the of the creator and um it's just it's, it's a really great game it's awesome graphics she is a solo dev so she does it all by herself um this she has it available on steam things like that it's, you know mac windows uh some games are there miss the newest one is Missed Messages, and then there's there's this girl, and then You Left Me, which is a really good one. And um, she also does game, uh, Let, Let Them Dares, and Game Jams. So if you want to check out her work, just go to zephyo dot itch dot io. So these are, uh, again, her own artwork. She's an amazing artist and programmer. So I've played a couple of the games. Her usual uh her usual um oh, what is the word 
her usual genre is visual novels. But she also has these portrait makers that you can download to your uh, to your mobile device, things like that. Okay, so. Alright. So let's see Unreal Engine and see if that what version that I what version I have. Go to my okay. Thank you. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to think. Okay, so um, just a moment. Let me see. Okay, so let's get this to go away. I just leave that. I just leave that for now. Okay, so uh, source control content. Build, make it a little bit smaller, windows down, okay, so I can see the whole screen, I think it's going to crash before I even get to see it. <laughs> Here we go. All right, my computer's like really slow for some reason. Or either it's frozen. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I will eventually actually finish this tutorial. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, let's see. File. Oh no, it's probably under help. Probably about. Let's see. Do I have the newest version? Let me see. Or is it just like uh, labeled wrong in Epic Games Launcher? Okay, what is the problem here? Okay, it's working. Help. I don't. Okay, here we go. Documentation, viewport controls, and so we can credits. About, here we go. Okay. 36. Yes, this is an extremely old version. That's weird. Oh, okay. Let me just plug this in really quickly. And yes, I do actually wear pants. <laughs>
Okay, so I do have an old version. All right, so let me just close it. So let me just save that and keep on going. So okay. Hmm. All right. I am actually going to just. Okay, so I am downloading Unreal Engine 4.23 and see if that'll maybe push out the other version. So, um, let's see, it does not, version 4.23 does not download. Okay, it's just not installed on my engine. How do I update to? Um, let's see. Um, okay. Let me just go to unrealengine.com. Okay, so download. All right, distribution. All right, I'm good. Yes. Okay, down. Thank you for downloading UE4. I'm hoping this will. Um, I'm hoping this will kick out the old version, though it's, it seems to be downloading the installer. I'm gonna try this because I don't know how to uninstall it. <laughs> I don't know why. What's going on? Why is it so hard to uninstall this? I promise I'm gonna reinstall it. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Windows E and downloads. Here it is. Okay, and where is my um hmm. Um if you do have any comments, just leave them in the description below and help other game devs out. I have like three problems going on now, so it keeps crashing. One. <laughs> Two, it uh, seems it's down giving me this really old version, 2016 version of Unreal Engine. And three, I don't know how to uninstall it. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have an uninstall option. It just has launch it. But I know that it doesn't work. So, mm, and I don't know how to install the newest version. Okay, and um, people have been saying, wait, wait. Okay, so um, repair or remove installation. It says that there's something, there may be something wrong with Epic Games Launcher, so let me try this repair and maybe that'll fix it. Okay, so and repair. So while that's doing its thing, I'm just going to try to find something else to do. Let me try to fix it. Um, let's see. Okay. So, so let's see. Uh, thank you for downloading. Okay. I'm just going to close these other resources and so we can just get to the main Google page. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Google. <clears throat> hmm. I need to do more research. Okay, give me a second and I'm going to look on YouTube on my phone uh, to see if I can find the answer. Uh, let's see. Because people have been saying there's a lot of different ways to uninstall it, but I'm not sure why there will be so many different ways. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, because that one did not work. But I'll still link to it um, in the description below, in the previous video, of course. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um, let's see, 
Oh, I'm not sure why this is so hard to uninstall. There shouldn't be six different ways to uninstall it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, okay, <clears throat> so the YouTube video says, actually says go to uh, Epic Games Launcher and go to the library, and then I should see, um, Unreal Engine, different versions, oops, I pressed wrong thing, okay, I see, I see, um, let me see, <clears throat> Um, okay, it's just skipping that back to the other thing. Maybe because my library is empty? Mm, okay. Okay, never mind. So, let's see. Let me just close it. And try to repair it. Okay, retry. Alright, so that means it's probably a background process open. So I'm going to open up my task manager. Right here. And... Close the background process. Process. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Yep. And in task. And make sure there's nothing else like the Unreal Engine or anything. Nope. It looks good. Um. <clears throat> Okay, that's, uh, no. Okay, so now let me try this again. We try. Okay, so hopefully that can fix it. And somehow get me to the newest version. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. I'm really just going to do a little bit more and then end the video. waiting a little bit. I know these videos are not terribly fun just watching me troubleshoot for like four days but <laughs> it's not working and I don't have the solution. I think um probably like on my breaks or something I am going to uh look up some more possible fixes. You can let set up your code. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I do have the f actually uh, some really great fun activity that I'm just gonna call it done for now. Mm -hmm. We shut down applications. Okay. Let me just give that a moment. Okay. So. Copy new files. Okay. And that'll just pop back up anyway. Number one, how many months did it take to develop Mortal Kombat? Number two, which console was the PS2 modeled after? And number three, which game was the first to get its own cereal? And here are the egghead answers. Number one, it took 10 months to develop Mortal Kombat. Number two, the PS2 was modeled after the Atari Falcon Microbox. And number three, Donkey Kong was the first game to have its own cereal. How many did you get right? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Ashley Bond.